Captain Rex and his 501st Clone Trooper Legion are currently doing a death charge on a droid secured factory base. The bounty hunter Aura Singh has been hired by the Separatists to defend this base at all costs. They've given her a number of soldiers, however they are heavily outnumbered by the charging clones. Who will win in this battle? Hey yo, what's going on gamers? It's your boy Daily Tactics here, pressing start on this battlefield right now. We have a clone trooper army death charge of a small little mining facility factory here that the battle droid army owns. A lot of people wanted me to do some more death charge videos with the clone trooper army, and I was more than happy to oblige. So let's see if about 300 clone troopers can take over a base guarded by a little bit less than 100 battle droids here. Of course, the battle droids do have the defender's advantage, which should help them out quite a bit, but the clones got the one, the only, Capitan Rex, which I am currently not seeing on the battlefield. Okay, um, <laughs> let me know in the comment section below if you can spot Captain Rex. At the moment, I am completely incapable of seeing him. Maybe he's laying down in the tall grass. Maybe he is wandering amongst this massive group of clones. Either way, having a lot of trouble finding this boy right here. So, you know, we might see him die. We might not see him die. I just hope we get to see him at least in some of this action during the battle. Maybe he's like all the way up here. I hope he's not dead already. That would really suck. I don't think he is, though. I think he's probably still kicking. Either way, the clones are going pretty ferociously against these battle droids defending here. Most of the droids are currently suppressed on the front lines, and the backline droids are getting some shots off, but not an awful lot. Where's Aura Singh at? Oh, there she is. She's over this way. She does, of course, have her rifle. Is it a cycler rifle that she has? I'm not entirely sure what kind of rifle it is. It might be a cycler rifle. Uh, maybe. It's almost like a harpoon gun, actually. It's got like a harpoon on the front. That is a strange gun for Star Wars, but either way, she's actually running forward. She does have a sniper. Again, she can just shoot them from a distance, but instead she's going deep. Oh, we do have Captain Rex right here. Let's go. He's building his DC-17, his trademark weapon, uh, and he is moving forward with the group of clone troopers, which is good. A lot of the times, the clone trooper uh, commanders in this game like to just yeet it forward and get absolutely creamed by incoming droid fire. It's good to see Captain Rex is a little bit smarter than that currently, and he is choosing to go in with his clones instead of all on his lonesome. Or Singh backpedals a little bit over this way. Again, you can just fire that rifle and probably get kills from this distance. I don't know exactly why you're hiding out way back here and not firing and then running forward and then coming back. It's really peculiar and not especially smart. So I don't know what you're doing there, Aura Singh. But, uh... You know, maybe she'll get a grip and, and actually do some fighting pretty soon here. Let's go ahead and bump it up a speed as this death charge really gets going. In fact, the death charge, it definitely started as a charge, and now it's more of just a slow advancement. They are not doing the full send. They are no red army. They are the blue clone army. So, yeah. <laughs> they do not, uh... They do not go by Stalin's word of no step back. They're like, oh, okay, slow and steady wins the race here. Let's not get ourselves all killed. If it was up to me, though, who these boys would be yeeting on in there. I guess it is technically up to me, but I'm going to let the AI do its thing here. I'm not going to interfere. Don't worry. Don't worry. No interference is going to be happening for me today. At least not yet. Um, tons of the droids are backpedaling over here. There were some free roaming droids on the battlefield if you hadn't noticed yet. Um, and it seems like, yeah, those guys are moving backwards to the next line of defenses here. Honestly, this could end up being a pretty good choke point right here for the battle droid army if they could keep the clones in there nice and secure. They could end up getting a lot of kills at the moment. Oh, is that Captain Rex? No! Rex is down! F's in the chat for Rex, boys. That is so sad. Let's see who else is down, actually, for the clones. Red are dead clones, yellow are dead droids. It's actually just about even right now in terms of losses, so that's not fantastic uh, for the droids. They need to be outpacing these clones at least a good bit more than they currently are. Hopefully they can pick it up a little bit here as this battle continues to go down. But again, this could be a decent choke point. There's a few clone kills right here, and more are mounting. So maybe if the rest of the clones kind of surge into the middle right there, then we'll be seeing a lot of them dead. Or is saying currently healing herself up right there. There we go. She's finally firing that thing out, and she immediately gets suppressed yet again. I don't know. Her 
time for effectiveness might have ended a while back. Who knows? But yeah, it just seems like she is not exactly who you want to be leading your droid army at the moment with the way she's playing very, very passively, not very aggressive in the slightest. Let's go ahead and bump it up to full speed here. By the way, there's a bunch of droids way out here. Can't really see him. Oh, there he is. <laughs> like way off on the left side there. Tons of droids just chilling. Not entirely sure what they're doing. Clearly, they don't want to be a part of this battle. They got a little bit scared, a little bit cowardly, and decided to yeet on out of there. Have you guys ever noticed that, like, the dro Well, of course, it's kind of a running gag in, uh, you know, Star Wars The Clone Wars, but the droids in the show, man, <laughs> they aren't that brave. They aren't smart. They're, like, they got nothing going for them. They're, they are truly like a dumb robot army. Like, did they just cheap out on the processors or something that they stuck in those fellas? I don't know. This is like Star Wars technology. I feel like they can, they could shove an i7 in there and, you know, or, uh, you know, they could get a 3080 Ti, even a 3090, man, or a 4090. They, could, you know, it, it's Star Wars. Why are they so dumb? I don't know. That's always just bothered me a little bit. I'm like, dude, they're like technology is not a limitation in this world you seriously have it all you've got genius droids out there like why cheap out on this droid army <laughs> i don't know i guess it, it is of course that quantity versus quality but i feel like the baseline for intelligence in this should be higher than, <laughs> than what the droids are offering the separatists currently maybe that's just me maybe i'm talking out of my butthole right now who knows but that's it's just me, man. Like, just be me, you know? Uh, either way, the clones are kind of breaking through this choke point by just standing outside of it and firing in. They're, they're really content on playing this long game here. They do not need to rush into that choke point. It does, of course, defeat the purpose of them being on assault mode, the, the death charge mode. <laughs> but, you know what? At, at the very least, they're, they're winning the battle through this. I, I can't blame them for not wanting to death charge through that choke point. They do have a significant number of losses back here, though. Let's check it out. Yeah, yellow are dead uh, droids, red are dead clones. I think there are more dead clones than dead droids now on the battlefield. Uh, so the droids have managed to break the clones down just a little bit. By the way, these speeders right here, they are easily destroyable. A few Z6 rounds into here, these things will blow up sky high and destroy these battle droids. That's all the clones really need to do to take out, like, all of these guys right here, they kill this one, they get probably these guys right here. That's not too bad. They did it with this one over here and this one over here. Just do it again with the ones further back and bada bing, bada boom. You are pretty much Gucci, my dudes. Pretty much Gucci, but we'll just have to wait and see. The clone team uh, to not be realizing that there are those speeders back there. They're just firing for the droids, and I can't blame them. You know, they're AI themselves. They're just about as dumb as the battle droids in the show. So it is what it is, dude, it is what it is. By the way, I am thinking about starting another Minecraft series over on Twitch. Um, well, let me know if you guys would be interested in that. I've been kind of pondering it for a while. I've been really wanting to get back into Minecraft. Um, it's a game I like come and go from quite frequently, quite often. Uh, and I don't know, I've just been having a hankering to do some like hardcore Minecraft or something like that over on Twitch, live stream it. I would do it on YouTube, but honestly my YouTube live streams seem to just kind of disrupt the regular upload schedule, unless it's of course a game we're known for playing on this channel quite a bit. Um, so like, unless it's like XCOM or, I don't know, um, mother flipping uh, what's a, what's another game we play on here quite often uh xcom uh, star wars empire at war unless it was that uh, or you know so, something along those lines uh then those videos just don't do very well it, it's kind of gotta be <laughs> one of those games or else the video kind of flops so that's why i'm kind of like eh, maybe maybe i just go ahead and and upload it to twitch in, instead of harboring down the YouTube channel, and honestly, the YouTube channel has been on the struggle bus lately. Yeah, I, don't, I know a lot of other content creators are kind of experiencing this. I don't know if it's because of the holidays or because, you know, finals are in session right now, kind of, for all students and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, I've heard from a lot of my YouTuber friends that views are just not going well for them right now, uh, and the same is for me. I mean, like, views right now for me are just staggering. Um, or sorry, stagnating. They're just, they're not pulling anything, you know? So, 
I don't know. It, it's tough out here when it when it happens like that, but uh, it's just one of those things you just kind of got to grind through, you know? You, you can't really stop and uh, smell the roses. You just got to keep on plowing through the videos, getting them out, making the best content that you can, and, and doing it up. Luckily, the, the LEGO content that I've been doing is actually pretty, pretty good lately. Um, in terms of views, so that is is definitely helping me out a decent bit, uh, which I'm excited about. I'm super happy that those LEGO videos are doing well. Uh, it definitely does alleviate some of the pressure off of Daily Tactics, because after all, this is my main source of income. Uh, so if this channel does poorly, then I don't make money for the month. <laughs> it's yet to be a problem where I'm like super like, oh my god, I'm not going to go pay rent or anything like that. That's never been a problem thus far on YouTube, which is very lucky for me. Um, but it's definitely like, oh, one month can order some some DoorDash and stuff like that. And then the next month it's like, eh, YouTube's not doing so hot. We better, <laughs> let's save up a little bit. Why don't we go ahead and save up? Uh, so yeah, you know, just sort of rambling a little bit there about that stuff. Either way, in the background, the clones have done some pretty big surges forward here. But they've taken some serious losses in doing so. I mean, look at this. Uh, well, we'll go back to red being clones, yellow being droids. So... All those red are dead clones, and there are quite a number of them now on the battlefield. The droids are cleaning up a good bit, and there's still a lot of droids sort of hidden behind these rocks, containers, stuff like that still. Able to get some decent shots through these choke points and kill even more clones. I, I think this is going to be one of those that comes down to the wire here. Uh-oh, the clones are grenading, though. That could be the downfall of the droids. If the clones are smart enough to get some cheeky grenades in there, then the droids could very easily just bite the dust relatively quickly here. Uh, I think that is definitely going to be a number one lethal threat that the clones have against the droids in this battle. Because all these droids right here, they could get a lot of kills if they're not grenaded, but if they're grenaded, they could all potentially go out in one foul swoop. Could be really, really rough. Uh, so yeah, right now, let's see here. Any more clones getting wiped out? Yeah, it seems like over here we've got a number of clones getting killed. Over here, just a few clones getting killed. Nothing too bad as of yet. Aura Singh's been down for quite some time now, though. Ooh, that droid got blasted right there. Absolutely blasted. This vehicle never exploded, and these ones never did as well. Huh, interesting. A couple more clones dying on the battlefield here. It's coming down to the end of it. You know what I really wish we had more of, though? Um just randomly thinking of this, is I really wish we had more of those uh, Galactic Conquest battles uh, that uh, Dark Pixel made. Those were so freaking fun to play, man. That, that is some of the favorite content I have ever done on this channel. I'm kind of bummed that it's still not, uh, not available. Well, mainly because we played them all. <laughs> Of course, it is available, but yeah, just saying that we, we played it all. This seems like the downfall of the clones, uh, or sorry, of the droids is incoming here from the hands of the clones. They're doing a nice little last stand here, getting more clone kills before the day is done, but that grenade's gonna be deadly right there. Pushing all these droids out of the way, killing a few, and dislodging a bunch more from their defensive positions right there. At least the droids getting a few more kills before the day is done, but this is going to be a clone victory here. But not by a lot, there's very few clones actually left alive. That's just about it. They lost a tremendous amount on the battlefield here to the droid army. Pretty impressive stuff. Oh, there's one droid running away all the way back here. <laughs> RE92. Run, my friend, run! Either way, that's going to be about it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.